what's it going to take to get this market going again? If Fed Chairman Bernanke got his way, we would still be feeling the effects of the last round of open-ended easing right now. But QE that seems forever. to be uh, QE infinity, as some people are calling it, <laughs> seems to be wearing off though right now. Since the Fed made its last policy change in mid-September, the S&P has actually taken a hit. That was that, as Peter Bookbar mentioned, that was the sell point at that point. It really was, and some worry that Federal Reserve policy decisions may be doing more harm than good for the economy and the markets. Let's see what our own Steve Leishman and Rick Santelli have to say. Both join us now on uh, this uh, market day that's pretty ugly. Steve, is the Fed is the Fed effect wearing off? Um, I, I think it has to uh, come up to the challenge that the market is presenting it. Uh, Maria, the issue being whether or not what we're seeing in earnings is telling us something about the domestic economy we don't already know. There is some thinking out there, I will tell you, Maria, that what we're seeing is the effects of international, uh, uh, the international slowdown, the global slowdown, along with currency translations. And I'm very interested, Maria, to follow what the retailers are saying, the whirlpools, and I'm going to be listening to that interview you're doing with Coach, because right. what I've heard and what I've seen is the retail number are a little bit better, so I don't know that necessarily we're learning new information about the economy here through these earnings. A lot of those retail numbers, though, get better with incentives, and that's what retailers have to do is provide those incentives to get people to come in the door. We'll hear from Lou in a moment well, here. Fair Rick. enough, but if it's, if yeah. it's profit, Bill, then, then, then it will be something worth noting. Exactly, absolutely. You know, uh, Rick, last month when they announced QE3, Mr. Bernanke said it was designed to boost Main Street. But we, I, you know, the, the, the numbers we're getting now, you seem to sense, and you heard this from Ursula Burns at Xerox, that you're starting to see a, a definite slowdown occurring again. So it would appear that at least this round in the early stages isn't having the, infa the impact that Mr. Bernanke was hoping, right? Right. I mean, whether it's FedEx, Cisco, uh, Google, I mean, there's obviously some misses, and we see certain areas, especially technology, where, you know, many investors tried to hide out. Well, there is no place to hide out. And I think if there's one dark side to the Fed programs, it's that, in the end, I really don't think that, that they can help the economy. I think that they could try to prime the pump in some weird ways, but the issue really is, is that you can't prime a pump forever. It's not priming the pump if the only water that comes out is primer water. So I think that there's nothing that beats old-fashioned economic growth. And I think right now, whether it's Europe or the U.S., uh, that, that the plans to really unleash growth aren't necessarily the right plans. And I don't think we're far off. I continue to look at our neighbors to the north who've created close to 900,000 jobs since the summer of 09 with one-tenth the population. Can they really be doing anything that much more dramatically correct than the U.S., I just yeah, think we need to get a few of our policies in line. Pardon? Would you say, Steve? You know, Bill, if I could just, if, Bill, if I could, well, I mean, Canada has a very heavily based energy economy, but I just and really so want to we. challenge and your we're question. Going to have I think it. The, not, the not overall, nearly as much. I think the overall thought here, much. the overall thought here is that you can't grow an economy just based on monetary policy. You need fiscal policy Nobody to either that, coincide no, no, or, or right. replace. And, and I think that's, that's right. the but point. Investors are dying and desperate for fiscal policy. Maria, I want, to, I want to challenge the question, and I want to challenge Rick's answer. We're talking about third quarter earnings here, which is something that took place between what? July, August, and September, right. before the Fed put its policy in place. And the Federal Reserve's thinking about its policy is that it has an effect based on the cumulative amount of bonds it owns, not by the flow, but by the stock, which would suggest that if there is going to be an effect on markets, both stock and bonds, it is to come and should not be gauged coincidentally with the actual purchase, certainly not the beginning but of the it was. program, it certainly not earnings that took place, but certainly not that took place, Maria, before the program even began. The expectations were way too high, let's face Absolutely. it. And they are way too high for the fourth quarter. And in the aggregate, I mean, double-digit growth for financials and earnings for the fourth quarter. What, 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 you know, I mean, this is, we've been saying this for months that's, already. The, I mean, in, in, in the aggregate, true, Maria, Steve, QE3, not based on Fed policy. QE3 no, only extends absolutely. what has existed already. It didn't lower rates any more than it already did. I mean, the impact on Main Street really is is, is nil in that regard because you you don't see a difference in the change of rates and so forth. And well, you do in mortgages, it, though, Bill. But it seems so that mortgages. They're about well, 20 I mean, bits lower. Steve, they're about Steve, 20 what is bits your lower point? in mortgages, what is your point, and that's something Steve? that... 
I'm saying you're way premature in yeah, judging the impact of Fed policy right now. They, the Fed has said repeatedly it's a stock impact, not a flow impact. Okay. And that to judge third quarter earnings being based upon what the Fed has done is way early because it wasn't yeah. even existent during most no, of the third quarter. Right. We're no, talking apples and oranges. We we're have talking the apples twist. And we have QE2 two and before that QE1. It's been a whole plan of QEs. And yes, we can pull out that third quarter, fourth quarter, and first quarter next year most likely aren't going to be dramatically affected by anything that has Queen Elizabeth before the number. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right, guys.